Hey Scorpios and welcome back for another Scorpio love reading. Thank you guys so much for your support Scorpio. I really do appreciate you guys. You guys are so amazing and it is such an awesome thing to be joined with Scorpio because Scorpio is a vibe. Okay. Uh, so l let me take this time out before I get into this quick because this is going to be a quickie reading for you Scorpio. Because somebody really is really, really, really pulling at you, Scorpio. Someone is so in love with you. And uh, <laughs> they want you back, okay? There I said it, okay? So if you don't want your ex back, you maybe you shouldn't watch this video. I don't need you going on ham in the comment section about this person who is madly in love with you and, and wants you back because you probably don't want them. Okay, Scorpio, I get it. But before I do that, let me send uh, my shout outs to my beautiful supporting Scorpios that come into in the comments section here. Now I'm going to, some of these names I can't really pronounce, but it's coming from a, a good place. I am sending love, abundance, uh, healing, um, amazing high vibrational energy to each and every one of you beautiful Scorpios that I'm shouting out as well as to all the other Scorpios. So the first one is from South Africa, uh, Zwazula Natal. Uh, her name is, I'm not, look, <laughs> um, shout out to Germany as well, but, uh, South Africa, Zoo, uh, uh, cool, Zul, cool, 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 Zula, uh, Natal is Zaki, Zamakizi. <sighs> hey, <laughs> from South Africa, Kwazula, Natal. Shout out to you, lovely. I mean, hey, you got a beautiful name, but I can't pronounce it. Uh, the next one is, we got a lot of Africa in here. It's just amazing. I tell you, the internet really, really is amazing here. Shout out to Philly uh, Nakami from South Africa, from Durban, Durban, South Africa. Beautiful, beautiful uh, energy sending your way. Uh, Elove All, Elove All from California. Uh, T T Tiffany from Houston, Texas. Shout out to all of my beautiful Scorpios from Houston, Texas. Uh, may the universe really, really bless you and give you your heart's desire. May you really, really be powerful in your manifestations because it's all about what you say. Uh, shout out to Nikki from Washington, D.C. Beautiful energy is sent to you, darling. May your wishes come true. Uh, may you have a beautiful, exciting, uh, born day uh, coming up in this uh, you know, birthday festive energy. Uh, shout out to Charlie all the way in Minnesota. Uh, shout out to you. May your winter and your days be full of abundance and bliss and may your heart jump for joy. Uh, Melanie Ray all the way from Anchorage, Alaska from Melanie Spur Spurgeon with the I N. I got you. <laughs> Shout out to Melanie and uh, Melanie Ray and Melanie Spurgeon here. Uh, and also the last one is uh, Kim from Missouri. Uh, shout out to all of you beautiful people. May the universe uh, uh, in God's speed bring you your heart's desire. May you continue to heal on this life journey so that you can fulfill and living your soul's purpose so that you can have a fulfilling life here. Because just because it's a lesson doesn't mean that you can't uh, because part of your lesson is learning the power that you have in that magician energy and manifesting and creating your reality, Scorpio. So shout out to all of you beautiful Scorpios for uh, com commenting in the comment section. Now let's get to this reading, Scorpio, because it's not going to be too long now. I pulled you some Romance Angel Oracle cards and then I pulled you four, three cards. I pulled you three Romance cards and three regular Tarot cards and I, and I uh, clarified these, but... Someone, of course, like I said, they, they have romantic feelings for you now, Scorpio. Now, 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 okay, romantic mean they in love with you, Scorpio. They in love with you because, they real, because their feelings are real and worth exploring. I mean, <laughs> someone really has very, very strong romantic feelings towards you, Scorpio. But the Spirit is telling somebody now, for somebody, look, now, let me tell y'all this before I go into further, Scorpio. Now, I understand because please believe everyone has a heartbreak story. Everyone has been broken. Everyone has been, just been broke down to you felt like you, there was nothing left of you. But it wasn't that personal, and I'm sure it, it, it made you, it was not personal rather, excuse me, but I'm sure 
These lessons are intended to make us stronger and wiser here, Scorpio. So what I'm saying is that if for any reason now, because sometimes the person that you're looking for, uh, that, that meets all of your qualities and your qualifications, you've already been with this person. It's just that things didn't work out at the time. Now, sometimes you have to, it, I'm just saying, it, it, if, if, it, if, if it wasn't just really abusive, now I'm not talking to you Scorpios who know you was with some sicko, crazy maniac. No, we're not talking about that. That real, I shouldn't even have to say that. But just in case you don't understand, if you were dealing with somebody who was really, really abusive and just demonic and just uh, uh, very toxic, of course not them. But even them, even that kind can change, Scorpio. Everyone can heal because we're all on a path here. And a lot of times, you know, we meet each other for, for purposes here, for lessons here. So what I'm saying is that some, some of you Scorpios have been in real, real strong soulmate loving relationships where... You're you were in love with them and you're still you're still in love with them and they're in love with you, but it just wasn't the right time. But you met each other because that's when your lessons began and it was gonna bring you uh mature you some type of way here. So I feel like this is one of those situations where someone is really in love with you and they're ready to express their feelings to you because your next card tells you to give your relationship a chance. It says work on your partnership. Now, this could be this person coming back in here to you. And for all I know, this you, Scorpio, got romantic feelings and you want somebody from your past. Maybe it's you. It's your reading. So instead of me giving you this whole long little speech about them, maybe it's you that wants to reconcile with someone from your past and you wanted to work on your partnership with them because you realize that you do have romantic feelings and you do need to, uh, th th that they are worth exploring. Because this third card is reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Now, it ain't even got to be no one from this lifetime. It could be someone from your soulmate, your spiritual lifetime here. Because after all, you have the lovers and the two of cups. So this is a very, very deep spiritual connection here, Scorpio. And this could even be with someone who, who you don't even know. It could be someone who uh, uh, is, is, is you have the spiritual contract with and you guys are about to meet together, Scorpio, and uh, they're going to meet you and they're going to want to get to know you on an emotional level here. And spirit could be telling you, look here, Scorpio, calm down now. And I just going to work on this. This could really be something. Or it could be just, you know, you know how the universe whispers things in your ear to tell you to do something here. And then spirit could be telling this person, look here now, you, you know, you, you, you feeling somebody or it's time, you know, you, you can fall in love or something. It's time to work on your love life here. Uh, go find you somebody who you feel connected to in this reconciliation past life energy. And as well, it could be someone from this lifetime, but either way it go, someone from your past life, from your past is extremely in love with you and they want you back and they are your soulmate so the first card here is the ace of pentacles here there's going to come an opportunity which it is <laughs> uh, something beautiful something big something very very rewarding here now this is a big 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 deal here now someone could easily be coming to you you know trying to uh because we deal with pentacles we're dealing with something that you can touch it's not a spirit it's it's, it's a, a physical thing here uh, either someone wants to um, do something for you because I'm getting the impression that maybe this person didn't do a lot towards the relationship because you do for some of y'all, it's a, a Leo because with this Ace of Pentacles, you got the strength card, excuse me, the strength card here. So I feel like someone is finally standing in their power. They're finally fixing to um, have the courage to step out and come to you. And when I clarify the strength card, you get the Six of Pentacles. Clarify the Six of Pentacles, you get the Knight of Pentacles. So for some of you guys, you was in a relationship with someone and you got tired of waiting on them to invest into something more stable, something more uh, befitting you guys, and you were in love with each other. You probably was like, well, God dang, I'm loving you. You say you love me, but dang, why you ain't making the moves? So I feel like you may have had to walk away from this person, but they're trying to come back here. See, at the bottom of this deck, spirits say let go of control issues here. Allow your situation, allow the situation to unfold naturally here. So I feel like this person wants to come back in and be generous to you. Maybe this person's finances has changed. Maybe something has happened where this person is in a better pay place now. Because whatever you may have been waiting on from this person is coming, is coming to you from this person in the form of this Ace of Pentacles here. 
But, you know, it's up to you. Maybe you want it. Maybe you don't. But they're coming. <laughs> I say your soul may come in. And now your next card here, Scorpio, is the chariot card. For some of you guys, you could be dealing with a cancer here. I feel like this person is traveling to you. Now, this person could live at a distance from you, Scorpio. But I feel like this person really had to overcome a lot of things. And I feel like this person may have hit rock bottom. Because after let go of control issues, I see finances and career. This person maybe really had to go through a lot of things uh, in order to get themselves together here. In order to want to come back. So I feel like they had to overcome their own personal challenges here, Scorpio. But they're doing it. And now they're in control of things. And they're moving forward towards you. And they're moving towards you. It could be a, a Taurus here because this person wants a commitment here. Then this person knows what they want. They want you because the Hierophant, now you have the lovers. Very, very strong, passionate connection this person has with you. Could be a Gemini as well. Uh, but they're choosing you here now, Scorpio. And I feel like this person wants to take you out. This person wants to. Now, for some of y'all, this person is, is even going to take it slow with you too. This person will be happy just to be your friend because they're going to work their way up to be more than just your friend, especially if this is someone from your past. They'll be just, they'll be happy just being a friend as long as they can just be in your life because they got plans on being something way much more than this with you, Scorpio. I feel like this person wants a relationship with you. And so this last card that I pick is the Four of Pentacles. This is the card that came out. This person is holding on to you. They're, they're holding on to you. This person, I feel like you're all this person thinks about. Now, I feel like it may have ended pretty harshly here, even though I don't see the evidence. But with this four of pentacles, they're holding on to you. Maybe you're just unforgettable. And I can imagine that with the lover's card and the two of cups, it was something about your connection that's unforgettable for this person here. So they're holding on to you. And they're planning. It's almost like this person is always in la-la land always fantasizing about what they could have had with you or what they can have with you. Because once again, with this two of wands, they're choosing you. They're choosing you this time, Scorpio, and they're hopeful. I'm telling you, this person is still holding on to the hope that they can still be with you, Scorpio. The person, unlike any other person that they've ever been with, is you, their soulmate. And, and they're coming back in and underneath the bottom, you got the fool card and the eight of pentacles. So that's telling me that this person here is willing to put in the work, give you their undivided attention if you just give them another chance to prove how much they love you, Scorpio. This is someone from your past that wants you back, that wants to prove to you that they can be what you want them to be and that they love you, Scorpio. I'm talking about this person, they, they want you back. They want you back and they want to prove to you that they have changed. All right, Scorpio, that's it and that's all. So if this video resonates, please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell, Scorpio. Leave me a comment and I will talk to you on the next Scorpio video. Bye, Scorpio.